Today, I will be making one of the most popular Sicilian street foods, panel. The crispy exterior and the creamy interior of this delight is so mouth-watering and simple to make. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click like and subscribe below. So let's see why this inexpensive dish is so popular. Let's take a look at the ingredients. You will need fresh Italian bread, chickpea flour, chopped parsley, salt and pepper, also canola or vegetable oil for frying, lemon juice, and three cups of water. Now take your three cups of water and add about a third into a medium or large size mixing bowl. Then add about a third of the chickpea flour, adding a little bit at a time. And you want to stir the mixture until it is creamy without lumps. And just keep adding the flour and the water until it's all in the bowl. Keep stirring. That's what we want. Nice, smooth, and creamy. Now we can add our salt. Once we add the salt, give it a little mix. And then we can add our pepper and mix it all together again. Now, at your stove, pour your mixture into a medium-sized pot. Turn your heat on to medium and begin to stir. We will be stirring about eight to 10 minutes until the mixture starts to thicken. After about five minutes of stirring, you'll notice the mixture start to thicken and stick to your whisker. At this point, I like to switch to a spatula, which will make the mixing much easier from this point forward. Add the fresh chopped parsley about two minutes from finishing. The parsley adds a very nice complimentary flavor we will continue to stir to ensure we remove all the excess moisture. This is important because if you don't remove enough moisture, the panel will not be dense enough and fall apart when frying. Next, you want to shape the panel as soon as possible. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to manipulate. I like to use this pasta container, but you can use a bread pan or a pan you would use for meatloaf. Apply a tablespoon or two of cooking oil to the surface of whatever pan or container you will be using. This will allow the panel to slide out easy. Place the mixture into the container if you're using a pan, spread and flatten until about a quarter inch thick and cover the top with plastic wrap. Place the container in the fridge and allow the mixture to cool and firm for two to four hours. Once cold and dense, remove from the fridge and then remove from your container. I like to cut the rough edge off the panel to give it a nice shape or form.
and then turn it on its top side or underside and cut corner to corner. This will give the slices a nice triangular shape. If you're using a baking pan, you can simply cut them into squares or whatever shape you will like. Have a pan ready with some parchment paper and place your slices on the pan. Now pour your oil in a deep frying dish or a cast iron pot and heat to 350 degrees. Begin to put the slices in the oil three to four at a time. Be careful not to overcrowd the pot or the panel won't cook properly. Fry the panel slices three minutes on each side or until golden brown. Then take them out and place them on a tray to allow excess oil to drip off. Oh yes, these are looking good. I'm going to show you two ways you can serve panel. One as a side dish and the other as a traditional panel sandwich with my own twist. To serve as a side dish or appetizer, salt and pepper to taste. and add some fresh lemon juice to really bring out the flavor. Traditionally eaten with salt, pepper, and lemon, you can also serve with your favorite dip on the side. Next, the panel sandwich. My twist, wasabi mayo. This will take the flavor to another level. Two tablespoons of mayo and about a tablespoon of wasabi. Mix together well until the mayo has absorbed the wasabi. And now we're ready for the fresh Italian bread. Spread the wasabi mayo on each side of the roll. And place the crispy panel slices in the bread. Salt and pepper to taste. and squeeze a little fresh lemon juice. Again, it is traditional to eat panel with just salt, pepper, and lemon. However, you can add your favorite spread or even spice it up with lettuce and tomato if you prefer. Cut the sandwich in half with a bread knife. Look at that. One bite and I assure you, you won't stop till you finish. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Please comment below and let me know how it worked out for you. Remember, if you haven't already done so, please inspire me by clicking like or subscribe below. And until next time, ciao.